hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today today it is my match preview for Cardiff versus Brighton at the Cardiff City Stadium um, for you guys that are not familiar with this bit so this I'll give my previews of the game um, my 1 to 11 etc so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the last game that Brighton played we lost 3-1 to Everton um, after seeing the highlights, very disappointing with the way we played. I don't think we pressured enough on the Everton, especially at their home turf. Um, you know, it's one of them things, but we do need to pressure better. Um, the last time Cardiff played, they lost 1-0 to Leicester. Now, I've said this in my prediction video, fair play to Leicester for um, playing after obviously their chairman passed away in the helicopter crash. Um, you know, Leicester still comes to terms with it. Their players went out to his home country to pay their respects. Um, and I think they even attended the funeral. Um, but as I said, that's our next home game after the international break. So, um, But anyway, that's a bit of information I've got. If you want, want to know a bit more information about this um, game, then please do visit my Premier League match preview I'll we'll go into a slightly bit more detail about this fixture um, so anyway but here's my 1 to 11 in goal Matthew Ryan uh, Match 1 brilliant game brilliant keeper remember that United are coming in for him uh, whether that happens that's going to be re remain to be seen but um, you know as I said brilliant keeper one of the best um, I believe he's up for Player of the Month as well. Um, Same with Chris Shooting is up for the Manager of the Month. Um, right back, Bruno. Um, Bruno's played the last couple of times. Don't know what's happened to Martin Montoya. Uh, I thought Martin Montoya was getting in there. Uh, obviously, Chris Shooting is seeing different things um, compared to what I was seeing. Um, centre back. Um, Shane Duffy uh, you know I can't see the duo breaking up and uh, no injuries involved so and fingers crossed that stays um, the other centre back position is Lewis Dunk um, you know brilliant centre back uh, whether he gets called up for England or not I'm not 100% sure yet um, you know, where was the rumour that he asked Gareth Southgate to leave himself out the England squad? If that is true, then I've got a, no doubt really that Lewis Dunk won't be called up because with the FA they do have to respect the players' wishes. Um, so I am interested to see what the England squad's going to be. Um, and the fact that Wayne Rooney's in it for his 120th cap, congratulations, Wayne. Um, left back, um, Gareth Bond. Um, sorry for mispronounce your first name. Um, you know, I can't see Sutgar or Bernardo coming in. I just need Bond to strengthen up a bit, um, is my only concern. Uh, Newcastle away, goes the ball away, uh, nearly conceded a goal because of that. Um, on the left side, Ischiello, um, you know, he's came back into the squad and he's doing pretty well. I want him to score a goal this time around so after we come back from the international break he can hit the ground running. Um, centre mid, um, Brian Coyell, um, you know he's the only player that I think has actually played nearly every minute of this game. Actually that's a lie because he didn't start the season, uh, David Popper and Dale Stevens did. Um, my other centre mid, uh, midfield position only the one player proper is looking at coming back um, possibly the Leicester game possibly at Huddersfield away so this um, the game up to the uh, Leicester game I will be paying close attention and I will let you know if he's going to be fit and uh, fortunately you might already know but Pastel Gross has had a step back now I'm not sure how long he's going to be out for um, but as I said Dale Stevens in now the set in midfield position. In right mid, now I would really like to see this player really play from the start. 
I think he changes the game up. I know some of you do give him stickers, Sam, this and that, but I can't see why he should not be in the starting eleven and he not got. Um, you know, it's going to be one of them things, I think, between him and Jack Abash. Who gets to start? Who starts on the bench? Who, you know, it's going to be really interesting going into this Christmas period. Still, we've got Huddersfield and Crystal Palace back-to-back -back games. And for you that don't know, Crystal Palace are Brighton's rivals. And, um, you know, if you want to hear that, that's another story. Let me know and I'll do it in another video. Um, behind the striker. Now, I want to see this player play behind the striker. Um, you know, Sonny March, bless him. Good player, but I think he plays better off the bench. Um, now, a few of you might disagree, but I like to see Jackabash in there. Um, he's got great skill, great pace. He might be able to help Murray out a little bit more than what March does. I'm not questioning March work, work effort at all. I just like to see Jackabash play behind the striker. Um, and the striker's position is Glenn Murray. Um, ain't got much choice. Um, got LaGuardia, uh, I like to see him start but I can't see it, and Dora, sorry if I mispronounced his name, um, you know he played about 10 minutes prior to the defeat to Everton, um, I didn't manage to make that game, so I'm interested to see if he plays against Leicester at all, um, but anyway guys this is my match preview, guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, shout for now.